Hello. I decided that I wanted to do a little experiment on an ecosphere. So I went to a pond and took some dirt and water. This is what it looks like after a day. What I want to find out is how this ecosystem will develop if it's always exposed to light. Natural light during the day and artificial light at night. I want to see what effect this has on the algae and animals and bacteria and everything else that's in there. But while it's still open, I want to take this opportunity to look at a drop of this ecosphere water under a microscope. Yes, you heard that right, I have a microscope now, and it's all because of Patreon. So I would like to thank all my current and former patrons for their support because they made this possible. So, now that I have a microscope, I will need to figure out how to film through it properly. But that's the next step. These could be bacteria, because it's possible to see them at this magnification, but they could also not be. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more stuff filmed through microscopes or not, and then I'll do it anyway. At night, these LEDs will be set at the lowest intensity, and as you'll see later on, that's plenty of light. As it turns out, this is accidentally also a great way to light the ecosphere for filming, especially for macro footage, which requires a lot of light. These LEDs are brighter than the light I normally use. It can get right up to the glass, which reduces reflection, and it can light the jar from every angle at the same time. So I think I'm going to buy some more. At night, this is what it looks like. It will be lit at the lowest intensity. Here I go higher. And down again. But trust me, it looks brighter on camera than it is in real life. The next shot is from the light at maximal intensity with fixed aperture. Let's take a look at what lives in this ecosphere. Here we have some tube effects worms. There's also quite a few copper pods. There were also some ostracods, but I was too focused on filming copper pods. Eight-eyed blood hedgehogs are always welcome, of course. This is some interesting footage. I also got a stereo microscope. The great thing about stereo microscopes is that the microscope doesn't have to be placed right up against the thing you want to see. However, just like the footage you saw earlier, this isn't looking great yet, because I still have to find a proper way to film through the microscope. Here I'm holding the microscope in one hand, which is obviously, to put it lightly, less than ideal. In my other hand, I'm holding the camera against one of the eyepieces, 
which is again less than ideal. And as we all know, less than ideal times less than ideal equals absolute garbage. But don't worry, this will all be improved. So there's that. This is the newest ecosphere, the one that's always lit. It will be interesting to see how this will work out. So if you don't want to miss future updates, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Sleep well, because these guys won't. Thanks for watching.